We are the only few sectors who are not affected by this much because we are first of all focusing on the uh, high end of the business. And uh, uh, when the manufacturing is going down, the high end service industry actually is still growing very healthily. Uh, people shifting from buying houses, the real estate is going down, but going to buy more healthcare, travel, those kind of services. So I think we are growing pretty nicely. And of course, uh, uh, if RMB is going down further, then we'll have a translation problem. But with just a 5 to 10% devaluation, which we kind of expected, it is a 5 to 10% devaluation against the US dollars, but if you're looking at against other countries, Japan, Korea, Thailand, RMB is still relatively strong, so it will not be affected as much.